Hello everyone, David Seven Skies here, and today I'm gonna show you how to have something similar to the audio suite in Logic. Um, the audio suite is a Pro Tool uh, function, and as you can see here, I have Pro Tool Pro Tools Nine open. And what the audio suite does is basically um, allows it allows you to process a certain um, selection uh, with a certain a plugin that you choose without um, having having this plugin open um, as insert effect. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I mean. And I'm gonna select my area. I want this kick to become a um, space hit kick, you know, I showed you a couple of times how to do that. Um, so I just want to have this long kick with a long reverb that I can use when I drop into a break or something. So I select my area, as I did, and go to the audio suite and then pick a reverb from the reverb list. There you go. Reverb is on, and now let's just start tweaking our reverb. So it's gonna be like 12 seconds. Save it, put into reset menu, and we call it space kick. Cool. Okay, so we found our setting, and all we have to do is just hit process, and there you go. So nice and easy. It's gonna save us a lot of CPU, a lot of bounce in place, and you know, bounce, get the file, whatever. It's it's very, 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 very cool, and uh, every Logic user is act is actually hoping this function will be in the next uh, um, Logic update. Um, so at the moment, you can't do something like that in logic or not completely inside logic. What you can do is something uh, quite similar and I've known that for like a year already when my uh, friend Matt Lange told me but I've never really got into it until yesterday night and when I found out that this function is actually pretty cool. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and quit Pro Tools and open Logic and show you how uh, you can do this thing. Okay, we are on Logic now and I already loaded the same kick I previously used on Pro Tools for that audio suite demonstration. So we are uh, we just want to have uh, pretty much the same kind of uh, workflow processing and uh, being able to process a reverb straight into this file instead of having it open as insert over here. So the first thing we are going to do is just um, have a look at our preferences in Logic. So we just go here, preferences menu, and then audio menu. Once we are here, sample editor tab, and we have to go and check our external sample editor path. Now, you are probably going to have um, Soundtrack Pro as default sample editor. Um, I'm using Wave Editor, which is a really, really nice software, and it's uh, quite cheap. I think I paid like 
50 or 60 bucks for it so it's not expensive at all but um and i think it's really worth to you know download the demo and have a look at it anyway if you if you're using a uh, pick or a uh, wave lab or if you like soundtrack pro you can use um all of them that's that's not a problem uh as far as you are happy with your sample editor that's that's not a problem at all um so once you set your favorite sample editor you can just close this window and now we are gonna select our file select the file we want to um, process and i suggest to make it a new file um, i already explain this once but let's say we have two different um, regions and I want this file to be uh, this kick completely dry and I want this one to be a uh, kick with reverb um, if I'm going to process this one which is the same file as this one if I process this one I'm going to process this one as well so I want to make this one as a different file so I'm just gonna make it as a new file and kick one replaced yeah sorry for that I already tried this thing on my own that's why I had a kick one already cool so when I have a new file all I'm gonna do is go on the option menu over here audio and open in wave editor of course if you are using pick it's gonna tell you open in pick if you're using wave lab it's gonna say open in wave lab so all you have to do is just click the first one of the menu and there you go okay this one is not what we want this is our kick so what am I gonna do now? I'm just gonna put the same reverb I put on uh, Pro Tools and by do and I can do that by go over here, by going over here, add effect audio unit and pick it from my uh, plugin list. Okay, that's my reverb over here and I'm going to load the same preset I used for uh, the Pro Tool Space Kick and here we go. Let me boost the volume a little bit. That's cool. We can close this one. And now I'm just going to flatten the reverb into the file. Uh, sample rate uh, 4400 and two channels. That's perfect. And the maximum tail length. Uh, this is going to um, define the length of your file so if you're using a reverb it's always better to you know have a long tail just to make sure that you don't cut off the reverb and you're anyway uh, you, you can anyway take it off once the process is done so we just put 20 second hit OK okay so our file is processed and let's have a listen That's perfect. And yeah, over here there's no not much of a sound, and so we can get rid of this part of tail. And all we have to do now is just go on and click save. Now we are going to go back to logic and see what happens. There you go. First kick and second kick. Now of course the region has the same length as it used to the same length as it used to be. We just can grab it all the way. And there you go. That's pretty cool, very, very, very fast, and 
Of course, we can do a bunch of other stuff. We can uh, process the file. Um, we can change the gain. We can normalize it, invert the phase, uh, make it make it faster, or reverse the audio. And every time we hit save, uh, the same change is gonna happen over here. So that's pretty sweet, and it's very very easy to use. And it has really uh, made my uh, workflow uh, faster. Tried it on a few files this morning and. It's really, really great. Uh, so I hope it's going to be useful for you as well. And from me, David Sevens, guys, bye-bye.